in living organisms, locomotion and bodily movement of the ankle, foot and toes. Classification of the Animal Kingdom Introduction The Earth is inhabited by an enormous number of varied species. The world is estimated to have 5 to 30 million species of living organisms. They show variations both externally and internally. Despite these variations, several animals show morphological and anatomical similarities. Thus, they are considered to be related to one another. Unless these organisms are arranged in an order, it would be impossible to deal with the enormous diversity of life forms. Taxonomy is a branch of science that deals with the classification of organisms. Taxonomy is from Greek. Its components are taxis, which mean arrangement, and nomos, meaning law. Thus, taxonomy can be defined as the theory and practice of classifying organisms. Criteria for classification The structure and resemblances existing between different types of animals form the basis of classification. The important criteria used in the classification of animals are 1. Form of existence and 2. Mode of life Form of existence Based on the form of existence, animals can be grouped into two categories. They are solitary forms and colonial forms. Solitary Solitary refers to animals which live as single individuals. Examples Hydra, Amoeba, etc. Colonies Animals that live in groups. Example Volvox, Physalia, etc. Mode of life Depending on the mode of life, animals can be grouped into the following three forms. Free living. Animals that live independently. Parasites. Those animals that depend upon other animals for food and shelter. Example, tapeworm, roundworm, lice, etc. Mode of life can also be classified as one ectoparasites and two endoparasites. Ectoparasites are those that live outside the body of the host. Endoparasites are those that live inside the body of the host. They also can be grouped as intracellular and intercellular parasites. Intracellular parasites live inside the cell. Example, plasmodium. Intercellular parasites can be seen in the bloodstream. Outline classification of animal kingdom. The animal kingdom is divided into two subkingdoms, protozoa and metazoa. Protozoa includes all the unicellular animals and metazoa includes all the multicellular animals. General characteristics of major phyla. Phylum, protozoa, amoeba, paramecium, plasmodium are the examples of this phylum. This phylum includes unicellular microscopic organisms. Their locomotion is with the help of the pseudopodia, cilia or a flagellum. The nutrition is either autotropic or heterotropic. They produce either sexually or by asexual methods. Phylum, Porifera. Sponges form the example of Phylum Porifera. They are multicellular organisms without tissues formation. This phylum includes sponges. They are characterized by the presence of a canal system in their body. Reproduction is by sexual and asexual methods. Phylum Colenterata The example for Phylum Colenterata is Hydra. 
all cholenterates are aquatic animals. The body of phylum cholenterata are radially symmetrical. The body wall consists of two layers of cells. The outer layer is called ectoderm. The inner layer, endoderm, is separated from the ectoderm by a non-cellular mesoglea. So, they are said to be diploblastic. The ectoderm has stinging cells called nematocysts, also known as nidoblasts. They have a central cavity known as gastrovascular cavity. Reproduction is by sexual and asexual methods. Phylum Platyhelminthus Liver fluke Tapeworm are the example of phylum Platyhelminthus. This relua includes islet wormsy. They are acolomates and are mostly hermaphroditesy. Most of them are parasites. Phylum Nematoda Phylum Nematoda are commonly known as round worms. The body is unsegmented. The body cavity is a pseudocolum. Sexes are separate and they exhibit sexual dimorphism. Some are free-living and some are parasites. Ascaris lumbricoides are examples of phylum nematoda. Phylum analida. Earthworm is said to be an example of phylum analida. The body of analides are segmented and are seen as rings externally and internally. The segments are separated by the septa. Excretion and osmoregulation are achieved by ciliated tubulus called nephridia. The nervous system consists of a nerve cord and ganglia. Reproduction is by sexual method. Phylum arthropoda is the largest phylum. Cockroach, crab and spiders are examples of phylum arthropoda. The body is segmented and covered by a hard exoskeleton made of chitin. There are pairs of jointed appendages. The head has a pair of compound eyes. The circulatory system is open, that is, there are no blood vessels. The body cavity is filled with blood, so it is called hevocoel. Reproduction is sexual and life history involves metamorphosis. Phylum Molluscia Pila globosa, apple snail, sepia, octopus are examples of phylum mollusca. They form the second largest group of animals. They are soft-bodied animals without segmentation. The body is divided into a head, muscular foot and visceral mass. The body is covered by a mantle and a shell. Phylum Echinodermata All animals are marine. Starfish, sea urchin are examples of phylum Echinodermata. The adults are radially symmetrical while the larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. The presence of the spines on the skin is a characteristic feature. They have a water vascular system. Locomotion is with the help of tube feet. Phylum Chordata The chordates are characterized by the presence of a notochord, nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits. The heart is chambered and the blood vascular system is closed type. It is classified into four subphyla. Subphylum 1 Hemichordata Blanoglossus is an example of hemichordata. They are marine organisms. The body is soft, vermiform, unsegmented, bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic. The body is divisible into three distinct parts, namely proboscis, collar and trunk. 
a notochord-like structure is seen projecting from the pharynx into the proboscis. Subphylum 2. Cephalochordata. They are fish-like marine chordates. Notochord is seen throughout the length of the body, extending beyond the brain. Subphylum 3. Eurochordata. In Eurochord, the notochord is confined to the tail region of the larva. The adults are degenerate, sessile forms. Examples, ascidians. Subphylum vertebrata. Notochord change itself to form the vertebral column. It is divided into five classes. Class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4 and class 5. Class 1, Pisces. They are poikilothermic aquatic vertebrates. The body is streamlined. The body is differentiated into the head, trunk and tail. Locomotion is by paired and median fins. The body has a covering of scales. The heart is two-chambered. Example, mullet, shark. Class 2, amphibia. They are the first vertebrates to live on land, but the larval stage is aquatic. The skin is smooth and slimy. They are poikilothermic. Respiration is by gills, lungs or skin. The heart is three-chambered. The examples of amphibian are frog, toad, salamander. Class 3, reptilia. This class includes poikilothermic terrestrial vertebrates. The body is covered by horny epidermal scales. Respiration is by lungs. The heart is three-chambered, except for crocodiles. Example, calotes. Class 4, avis. These are warm-blooded vertebrates. The whole body is protected by feathers, except the feet where scales are present. The forelimb is modified to form wings. A horny beak is present. Bones are spongy and pneumatic. Heart is four-chambered. Example, pigeon. Class 5, mammalia. They are warm-blooded vertebrates. The body is covered by epidermal hairs, external ear or pinna, mammary glands, and sweat glands are characteristic features of mammals. They are aviviparous and females suckle their young ones. Example, rat, kangaroo, ratus.